Ear snugs are custom molded ear plugs that fit snugly inside your ears. Because they're shaped to each individual ear, they are very comfortable, they stay firmly in place, and can be used over and over again. Enclosed in your package of ear snugs, you will find the following contents. There are two containers of colored putty base material, and there are two containers of white putty catalyst material. There is also a rubber strand lanyard with binding knots on the ends. The lanyard is one size fits all and its purpose is to aid the removal of your ear snugs as well as to keep them connected. Keeping them connected will hopefully help to prevent against losing your ear snugs. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own ear snugs. You should only try to make one custom ear snug at a time. That's why your kit contains four containers of putty, enough for you to make two custom ear snugs. Start by opening one container of the colored putty and one container of the white putty. Here I've rolled each of them into a small ball. Using your fingers and hands, mix the entire contents of these two containers together. As soon as the two different colored materials touch, a chemical reaction begins which starts the setting of the putty. So don't touch them together until you are ready. Try to combine the materials until a uniform color is achieved. You don't want any marbling or streaking of colors because this will prevent the putty from fully setting. Your mixing time should be no longer than one minute. Once mixed, roll the material into a small ball and insert one knotted end of the lanyard into the material. Press and mold it around the knot as well as about a half an inch of the lanyard so that the knot is well buried into the center of the material. Next, press the putty ball into your ear using your fingers to mold, shape, and smooth the putty around your inner ear. Use enough pressure to get the putty into your ear canal. This will help preventing the ear snug from falling out after it is hardened. It's also important to shape it so that the lanyard ends up in a downward direction. Once you have your desired shape, stop playing with it and leave it alone to set up. Your ear snug will achieve hardened rubberized consistency after about 3 or 4 minutes. After it is hardened, gently pull upward on the lanyard and tease the ear snug out of your ear. Test the fit again by replacing it into your ear in the same position. It should feel snug and comfortable and stay in place even when you shake your head side to side. When you're finished with the first one, Repeat this process for the other ear snug using the material in the remaining two containers and forming it around the other knotted end of the lanyard. When you're finished, you will have two ear snugs attached by a rubber lanyard. You can choose to use your ear snugs with the lanyard attached, or if you prefer, use a pair of scissors and cut off the lanyard. You may want to take a permanent marker and mark the left and right ear snugs to prevent any confusion when using them. Ear snugs are a great alternative to traditional earplugs. You should find them very comfortable to use in any application where earplugs are required.